Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. I hope you're doing wonderfully out there. Let me know how you're doing. Stop the video right now, especially if you have never commented before. This is a call out to you. I want to know who you are and where you're coming from. Just so drop it down in the comments um, below. Say hi, don't be shy. Uh, today I have a bit of a different video. I'm excited to see um, how this turns out, but I'm going to be planning on my weekly desk pad. This is just a nice little um, Mickey and Minnie Disney Oasis themed desk pad from the Happy Planner. It's undated. I got this um, when they did the whole Disney Mickey and Mouse, uh, Minnie, Minnie, Mickey and Minnie Oasis. A collection which was that beautiful Mickey collection with all the southwestern inspired like aesthetic and I'm going to be using this desk pad to kind of set up like a, a weekly overview for the upcoming week um so if you're interested in seeing how I set up a desk pad, how I use it, why I use it, how it fits into like my planner lifestyle, just keep on watching. So I've always been a fan of desk pads like this. I love just seeing my week at a glance. And when I saw this desk pad from like the Disney Oasis collection, which I picked up like almost everything from this collection because I loved it so much. When I saw this, I knew that I had to have it. So the desk pad, um, I really like it because it sits out on my desk and um, it, it really like helps me to like look at everything and understand what's going on in a week at a glance. I am a multi planner, meaning that I use various different planners and it's an amazing system. But the one con I would say about Franken planning is that there's no like catch all dashboard in a Franken planner because everything is separated and that is, it's like what makes it such a great system, which is the separation, the compartmentalization, the organization, what makes it such a great system also makes it like it's, it's, is it's one like con because there is value in looking at a glance and seeing everything that you need to do at a glance. So that is why I have this desk pad, why it fits into like my planner lineup because it serves its unique purpose. It's my dashboard and it's kind of like my catch all like um, dashboard home base control center for the week. And I can just look at it and everything is on here. All the important things that I need to do is on here. Also, the very fact that I'm writing everything down also just kind of reinstills in me like that. These are the things that I have to be at. These are the things that I have to do. So even just like writing it down is like, it's an exercise in like getting me like familiar with what's going on next week. And I feel much more confident going into the week, having this like full picture of what's going on. So I set up, uh, oh, and I'm also using this new Fresh Botanical sticker book from the Happy Planner. It was one of their new releases this past uh, spring release and it's so gorgeous, I love it. So I'm gonna be using this bad boy here. And I tend to just like pick a sticker book and play around with it for like decorating um, this desk pad. So this is undated, so I am going to go ahead and just date um, date the days. So I'm using this Tombow marker here and we set up the dates. And I also have my Google Calendar open um, right now and my year at a glance calendar open as well. And that way I know that what I need to uh, write down here. So I have this guy here open as well. 
Okay, but mostly I look at my Google Calendar to set this up. And you might be wondering, like, if I have a Google Calendar, you know, why should I use the desk pad? And honestly, because um, I try to be on paper as much as possible and the Google Calendar for me is really useful. I also use it in its own unique way. I do find the Google Calendar helpful because especially because I have quite a bit of Zoom meetings and I embed like Zoom links into like the calendar um, so that way I know that it's happening and also I just have the link right there which is the one like drawback of paper planning is that you can't have that like instant zoom access to your meetings, but you know, it is what it is. But what I like about the desk calendar is that again, it's, it's also the act of setting it up. It's the exercise of setting it up. That is helpful. The fact that I'm like writing down everything reminds me that these things are happening. Whereas with the Google Calendar, it's a lot more passive. And sometimes I like completely forget I have something on a Google on the Google Calendar. But until I review it during my desk pad, like, you know, check in, I remember that I have that thing. So I right now I'm looking at my Google Calendar. And this is also a, a time where I'm able to like decide whether I'm going to like uh, attend events or not. Like I throw everything on my Google calendar, regardless of whether I plan on attending it or not. If there's like something, well, maybe I should rephrase that. I throw everything on my Google calendar that there's a chance that I might want to attend or, you know, be a part of. And so, um, it's not until like the week of that. I really decide that, okay, like I do want to go to this workshop. I do want to go to this like, um, lunch and, and then I confirm it. But sometimes I like to like think that I want to go to something or think that I have the time to do something. And then it turns out I don't. And so at this point, like I kind of like narrow down what's going on. So let's all right, the one thing that I don't like about uh, this uh, desk pad, the columns are so narrow, and so boxes like these just kind of stick out. So I have two things going on on Monday, but there's also, oh, actually, never mind, never mind. Oh my goodness. I just realized that one of my meetings is not happening because my boss is on vacation. So see, exactly. This is exactly why I do this because I would not have remembered that until like 30 minutes before my meeting. I do have a three o'clock meeting, lab meeting on Mondays weekly, so Oh my god, okay, so this is an example of real life <laughs> getting messy, but um, in setting this up, I have two weekly team meetings that happen every week that we had to reschedule. I mean, we reschedule them every start of a new academic quarter because most of us are on the academic calendar and schedules always shift around this time. So around this time, we always like send out a, like a scheduling poll to see when people like when's the best time to meet. And I sent that out, you know, Friday afternoon and I told everyone <laughs> to please uh, send uh, submit it by um, by the end of Sunday so I could schedule by Monday. But of course, it was kind of on me that I sent it so late in the week, but you know, life gets busy. So only a few people have filled it out. So I still kind of want to wait until at least a couple more people fill out the poll so that we have like a good time for all of us to meet. So I can't schedule in my those two week those two weekly meets until I have that information. So this is going to be a little bit incomplete for now but we're just gonna have to roll with it. And then Wednesday, I have two meetings. Uh, well, I have one meeting and then I have um, an observational lab. So let's see, let me find a bigger box because that lab does take a little bit more time. So I'll pull for this green sticker here. 
oh i need to vacuum my room every time i grab something off the floor i get like a piece of hair i also hope that i've been in frame this entire time okay yeah so wednesday at uh 1 15 1 30 on campus so i gotta do that and then at right after from 2 30 to 3 no to 6 30 i wish it was 3 30 i have my um observation lab period so this is kind of optional but i like to do it because i'm a new faculty at this university and it's a class I obviously haven't taught before, so I always sit in and observe like um, an experienced faculty member um, lead the class through our lab class. It's a four hour lab class and I'm like not, I'm completely new to the building. I'm completely new to the laboratory. So I don't know where things are located. I don't know, you know, where they keep certain supplies. I don't, yeah, so I'm new to their like camera system that they use in the classroom for hybrid learning so it's really helpful for me to just sit in and observe how the instructor handles everything how she goes about and you know sets up all the experiments so i just sit in there and i observe um her class and i just kind of sit in the corner and i like just do my thing i usually work on other things um and like i'll take pauses to to see what's going on as well like i'm always kind of aware of what's going on but i also am able to kind of like work quietly on the side like answer some emails set up some stuff so i have my observation lab period and it's nice that i get to do that because right first thing in the morning thursday right after i have um from 8 a.m to 12 p.m I have my my own uh, laboratory section. So this is the class I teach. Um, it's four hours long. It's in the morning. Uh, week, I think it's week nine at this point. So that, there's that. And then right after i have to pack up my stuff and hustle down to uc san diego to or up to uc san diego for um a meeting with my lab at 1 p.m and then right after i have another meeting with my uh, my other boss at 2 30 and actually i don't have anything going on friday um so that's fun and on saturday we're actually planning on having a cookout at the field station for our labs so that's gonna be fun. Uh, let me grab a box to make a note of that. Maybe one of these. Maybe I'll just use one of these today. I wonder when is when that is going to be because I wanna have my garage sale actually on Saturday. So I think I think this might be at noon. So maybe I can get away with it. Okay, yeah, I like this right here. And then I kind of want a longer box to make a note that I want to have my garage sale. Let's see. Um, I wish there was like a box that span that could span these two columns. Let's see, is there anything like that? Hmm. Maybe I'll just use one of these boxes. How about this orange one? Or like light peach one? I'll just put it like there. Oops, that was kind of crooked. Oh no. Okay, maybe if I didn't tilt my pad so much, it wouldn't be so crooked. So. 
I kind of want to watch the Batman on Saturday. I think that would be fun, like after the cookout. I might go do that. I need to find out when this cookout is. Yeah, I think I might watch the Batman after the cookout. So let's see. Have y'all watched the Batman yet? I would love to know your thoughts if you have watched it. Let me know if you watched it and, uh, and how it was. So maybe I'll put that right after. And the Batman. So I'm really glad we set up this weekly schedule because it made me like recheck when this was happening and remember that I want to have a garage sale. Also that um, I had to reschedule those two weekly team meetings. So I actually went ahead and did that right now. Like I have my my laptop right here with me and because I was scheduling this, I remembered that I had to check those um, scheduling polls to see if people had filled the polls and since a couple of people hadn't, I went ahead and emailed everyone again and I told people to like, you know, that gentle reminder that I'm trying to get this scheduled so please, you know, answer the poll. I'll probably check it early Monday morning, maybe by like 9 or 10 in the morning Monday. Um, or maybe even by noon Monday, I'll like send out an email of like when, when we're planning on meeting. So and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of decoration to this um, uh, weekly desk pad. I love this is like my favorite thing to do. So I'll just add like little decoration here and there. Nothing too crazy, just, you know, enough to make it pop, so. And then I think the last thing I like to do is jot some notes down here. So I'm gonna grab some of these gold foil dots and just pop them down here and these are just like things that I want to remember to do like some of the more like important things that I need to remember to do um, and these are usually kind of like redundant uh, because I probably have them written down in my planner but having them written down here on my desk pad again like Rem like forces me to like remember them. So the important things that I need to do is schedule uh, my tax appointment. I gotta do that. I always slack on that. I always do it at the very last moment. Schedule my tax appointment. I have to order um, contact lenses and figure that all out. Um, Let's see, I also need to be um, scheduling my uh, audiology appointment to be on top of that. And then I think that's pretty much all I want to do for now. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with uh, this setup. I do want to add like a full box somewhere because I think these are so cute. So I am going to add this here. Um, I don't think I'm going to have anything scheduled like Tuesday day. If I have a weekly team meeting scheduled Tuesday, it's going to be after 4 p.m. So I can add a box there. And I think, I think I'm done. This book is so lovely. It's so cute. I love it so much. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to add, but I don't think I have room. These stickers are pretty big. So I wish they had a little bit smaller stickers. You know what would fit really well on these desk pads? Mini stickers. Mini stickers. Like not mini, like mini, but mini, like mini size. I think they would fit really well. That's an actually like, I had a completely, I had an amazing idea there. 
I could use mini stickers on this desk pad. I actually don't have um, any mini sticker books except for two. I think I have zero big sticker books and like 99% of my Happy Planner sticker books are classic sized and I have two mini ones. I have a Wellness Warrior Mini because I could not find that thing in the regular size. I don't even know if they released it in the regular size, but I found it on clearance as a mini and so I picked that one up. And I also have the Villains sticker book in mini because I couldn't find the classic one and so I just ended up getting the mini. Eventually I found the classic sized one, so I was really happy, but now I have a mini. But I might actually use um, the mini sticker books in, for this guy here. So I really like how it turned out. It's awesome. It's cute. I love the, this vintage floral sticker like aesthetic. And I definitely want to leave room like for, you know, um, last minute meetings that pop up. So this is what I have going on for now. Pretty, uh, a pretty uh, easy week, I would say. I actually feel like this is really, <laughs> this is a really, um, not not as packed week. I've had such crazy weeks for the last couple of um, last couple of weeks that this is like a breath of fresh air for me. I don't have that much going on. I'm really really happy about that. So that way I can focus on my research projects and making sure like I have everything uh, done for my teaching obligations and yeah so I'm gonna leave this on the pad like this and then I usually just leave it like this on my desk but I tend to um, leave for campus Wednesday and Thursday and so when that happens I like take this pad I pop it into my planner and I just carry it around with me like I take the sheet I don't carry the pad with me so that's it thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me for another um, plan with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I work with like uh, this desk pad and how I use it. So yeah, let me know if you use a desk pad and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!